Hi guys, long time no see. I hope everyone is staying safe with everything going on right now. We're in this together and so today I wanted to put out this fun video we can all get a bit distracted with. A lot of you might know I recently got extensions and my hair is now 22 inches long. So I've been practicing wearing it with different hairstyles and today I wanted to show you guys some of those ideas. I'm starting off with a heat protectant. This one is from Moroccan Oil and after spraying that all over, I'm going to distribute it throughout with a brush for the first hairstyle we want pin straight hair so after i got out of the shower i blow dried it mostly straight and now i'm just very quickly and lightly using my numi strainer and running it through to minimize some frizz after that i'm sectioning a piece right from the top making sure to leave out my bangs and then i'm twisting the hair in place and forming a small space bun and securing it with a small um, elastic hairband so it's nice and secure and well hidden after i'm kind of fluffing it out and uh, pulling it open to form this nice little shape and then securing that in place with bobby pins doing the same thing to the other side and uh, running the straightener through my bangs again to make it sleek Brushing out all flyaways with this dense bristle brush that is perfect to flatten flyaways. In my love, my love, my love, my love. You love my lady lumps. My hump, my hump, my hump. My humps, they got you. Next hairstyle is a crimped wavy look and for that I'm prepping my hair with the Way Wave Spray to add texture to my hair so the waves can hold in place better. Again, brushing it out to disperse the product and finally getting started. I'm going to be using my trademark Beauty Babe Waves tool and starting from the bottom on about 2 inches portion of hair and working my way up not leaving my hair in it too long because we want some more of that relaxed look and for it not to be too defined spraying each section with hairspray so the style can last longer <laughs> Okay, as for the ends, I'm leaving the hair in it for less time and just pulling it through instead of holding and waiting. The front pieces, I'm doing it a bit different too. I'm spraying it first because I want those pieces to be more defined, so I'm paying special attention to that. And uh, that's one side all done. The top is a bit more defined than the bottom. I wanted the ends to be more straight so it has that effortless feel. The next hairstyle we're doing with the crimped look is pretty easy and straightforward. I'm simply gathering all my hair in the back in the bottom for a low ponytail. And you don't need to be too tidy with this. The messier, the better. So I'm not even using a brush, just my fingers to run through my hair and then tying it in place with a normal hair tie. But to make it more polished, I'm sectioning out a one inch part and wrapping it around the ponytail to hide the hair tie and securing it with a ponytail. Again, brushing down my flyaways with my brush and that's pretty much it. No, 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 no drama, so don't pull on my hand, boy. You ain't my man, boy. I'm just trying to dance, boy. We're 
on hairstyle number four and this one is so cute and different we're going to first smooth out the front with a smoothing cream i'm using this one from sephora collection which is so affordable and works amazing then brushing it down with my favorite brush again and tucking it behind my ears for a really put together look i'm turning around so you guys can see exactly how i'm placing every bobby pin in and if i can just do it by myself with no mirror just by feeling where every bobby pin goes anyone can do it too i bought my gold bobby pins from this little store in my city but you can honestly find a set like this from amazon i'll try to link it down below if i find it you can use different color bobby pins as well depending on your taste i've seen this one with um, neon green or pink and it's so cute so basically crisscrossing your bobby pins in the back of your head and you create these x's all around your head One more hairstyle with this crimped hair, but obviously you can do it with curly or straight hair. I just think it looks a bit different with this hair texture. It's basically a half up, half down um, hairstyle. So you start with gathering half of your hair up and leave about a two to three inch section of your bangs down. I'm making it super polished and smoothing it up and it can be tricky with extensions but if you just manage to bury it under your normal hair and tease it if you need a bit more coverage it should do the trick after tying it I'm doing the same technique as the last hairstyle and wrapping a small section of hair around the ponytail with the leftover bang section I'm tucking it behind my ear and bobby pinning it in place with a small spoolie brush i brush down my baby hairs and that's the fifth hairstyle done <laughs> My lovely lady lumps, my lovely lady lumps, my lovely lady lumps in the back and in the For this upcoming hairstyle, we're starting off with straight hair again. I actually filmed the second portion of the video the next day so I wouldn't have to apply so much heat to my hair at once. But with a rat tail comb, I'm dividing my hair on the side and then drawing a diagonal line from that point to the middle of my head like so. And then dragging it all the way down to my ears so the front is separate from the back. And then securing the back part of my hair out of the way so it's easier to gather the hair in front. Making sure to smooth out and tuck it behind my ears first and also applying some hair gel this one is from tresemme if i didn't mention it before and uh, brushing my baby hairs with that same spoolie brush to make it even more sleek i then secure it in the back with a small elastic band and then i can let my hair out from the back portion and yeah after i'm brushing the top of my hair back and teasing the crown so it's nice and voluminous for that pinup look after hairspraying it in place so it has more body and holds up more volume i am moving down to the bottom to create ringlets using a straightener the ringlet shape comes out so much better with a straightener rather than a curling iron which is why i'm doing it like this i'm just wrapping the hair around the straightener and twisting it like so and uh, then after hairspraying it all the curls so they don't fall i'll do the same to the other side and there we have it <laughs> We're on to our last hairstyle, finally. We're keeping the curls, but we're brushing them out to puff them out and really embrace the big frizzy hair in the bottom. Parting my hair down the middle and uh, brushing back the crown portion and teasing it like we did the last hairstyle. 
Here I'm separating apart my baby hairs as well as I can and even using a hair clip to help me do so. I'm using a ton of hair gel and that same spoolie to make waves using my baby hairs. It can be a delicate and slow process but you can kind of see how I'm using my fingers here and spoolie to draw out all of the waves. One last hairspray to everything and uh, there's the last hair cell all done. Mm -hmm.